Hello everyone, my name is Achila Yona and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And if you are new here, then just welcome. I'm so happy to have you join us for today. We're going to be talking about the truth about Wakanda. I know that this is a Marvel classic, okay, Black Panther. So many people went wild for Black Panther and I can, I can see why Black Panther is a really good movie. But however... Um, Black Panther has a lot of people thinking Wakanda is a fictional place in Africa. And in all honesty, that's not true. Wakanda is much more than a fictional place in Africa, okay? It is an indigenous American creator, okay? Divine creator at that. Um, tribes like the Omaha, the Ponca, the Osage, um, the Lakota, the Dakota, and other, and also other uh, Plain Indian tribes, um, worshipped in and welcome the Wakanda uh, creator spirit into their lives. The Wakanda is a great creator power of the Osage, Omaha, and Ponca tribes. Wakanda is an abstract and omnipresent creative force who is never personified in traditional Suan legends, and in fact did not even have a gender before the introduction of English with its gender-specific pronouns. And I have come across um, other book sources um, talking about how other indigenous people were calling the Wakanda grandmother or grandfather despite it not being um, gender-specific. And then according to the Encyclopedia of Native American Healing, the Omaha counterpart of the Lakota slash Dakota term Wakan Tonka. Wakanda is the mysterious life power that permeates all natural forms and forces. This power is seen as akin to human consciousness itself. Wakanda symbolized the integrity of the universe, a universe in which man was a small part, dependent as was the entirety of the universe, on the power that animated it. This power of Wakanda was not conceived as a neutral force, but was invested with a moral quality. Truthfulness, pity, and compassion were attributed to Wakanda so that the will of Wakanda was not to be altered or questioned. And an individual was to obtain favors as the Dakota case by humble suppl supplication. Among the Osage, Wakanda is also used as a designation for shamans. All right. And also in Wisconsin, um, there is a Wakanda Indian Mountain Park. Um, it's very prehistoric, and according to WisconsinFirstNations.org, um, at the Upper Wakanda Park Mound are three large oval mounds located on the ridge overlooking Lake Minnelman. A widening of the Red uh, Cedar River. Seventeen other mounds were located below this ridge but were flooded when the construction of a dam in the 1950s elevated the water level of the lake. Hmm, does that sound familiar? <laughs> cough, cough, Lake Lanier, okay? Before their flooding, 14 of the mounds were excavated and radiocarbon, uh, radiocarbon dated to sometime between 1000 AD and 1400 AD. Burials and stones concentrations or altars were found in them. One of the burials was of an individual who had been cremated while wearing a clay face mask covering. The custom of placing clay coverings or a mask on the faces of the dead has been documented at two other mound sites in Wisconsin. The Cyrus Thomas Mound Group on Rice Lake and the Outlet Mound Group on Lake Monona. What does this mean for so-called Black Americans? This means to go ahead and do your genealogy research. They had y'all out there thinking Wakanda is African and Wakanda is actually Indigenous American. And a lot of y'all resonated with Wakanda when even in the movie, 
um, the Black Panther movie, it was showing a, also a lot of indigenous American culture in it as well. But I'm going to leave it at that note. Um, don't forget to check out shoporiginate.com to shop our Wakanda merch. Okay. And thank y'all guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell button to get notified when we upload a new video. Thank y'all guys so much for watching. Until the next time.